Ladies and gentlemen, now a couple of days ago we reached the level 100 zone in Nino Kuni Crossworld. So we've done all of the maps so far and we are right at the end of Rainbow Valley. So we're just about to hit like the final reputation grade which should unlock the final quest. And I believe once we complete this as well, uh, we're going to unlock like the final perk on like the battle pass uh, of the area achievement one, which is the Swing Amber here, which is a really, really cool looking mount. It'd be amazing if like that was just the, the final reward for everybody. But Netmarble being Netmarble, man, you know, it's the final reward for anybody that wants to spend a little bit of money because they... um. They love that cash, man. They absolutely love that cash. And this game, as as many of you know if you've played it, is monetized to the tits. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna do this final quest there. I wanted to show you just what some of the, the general mobs are like, because I don't know if once we do this one, uh, we're just gonna like move straight into the final bit. But pretty much like everything in this zone has about a million health. Uh, my auto settings are for familiars, just to show you here. I've got it all enabled for familiars, so they'll be cycling their abilities. All of my skills I will be using manually today. Um, so yeah, I think this is just a wave of, um, uh, what is it, black circle members. I forgot if they're like light or dark. Okay, so they're darkness in terms of attribute. You can see here they have one million hit points. So I'm just going to like gun them all down, chuck that down, and then roll away. That was a nice little like burst cycle, man. I think we did about... Uh, they do, even for my gear level, man, these hit, like, pretty damn hard. <laughs> so, yeah, that, the damage is pretty nuts. But also, the damage we're outputting yeah, is pretty good as well. I freaking love my engine in, man. Okay, that was, that was pretty nice. I think we just, like, kite away for a second. Get everything together. I think you drop the, uh, what is it, Leaf Dance. Leaf Dance is, like, my favorite ability. Shout out to everybody watching this video who appreciates Leaf Dance. Super high DPS, man. I should have actually waited a few more seconds before using that buff. They said like uh, four seconds of it or so. Doesn't matter to you. It's just bad practice, man. It's bad practice. And uh, bad habits in games. I, I try to avoid them where I can. Right. Got the next one. Yeah, I think we can just chuck this in. Go for a cheeky little Leaf Dance. Should cleave as well. If the stun, can I hit everything? I should have like rolled there, re-angled, and then gone for it. I think I need to pull back here. Dude, this, for anybody that's not big blubbery world, dude, this zone is going to take a while to get through. <laughs> I'm just like looking at my, I got like 350k, bro. I'm being torn off like tissue paper. Like some of that is just a little bit not yet. But there we go. We, ma we managed to get through all right, eh? But RIP to anybody brave enough to play uh, free-to-play melee going through this. Because that damage, uh, it hurts. It really does hurt. Okay, right. We've got this ominous, like, um, castle tower looking thing at the back. I don't know if that's, like, a end game mode of gameplay that's not out on global yet. Some sort of, like, dungeon or something. Okay, right. We're going to complete the quest there. If there are any cutscenes, I'm going to try and leave them um, open. Right, so we're going to clue now. Monster of Catastrophe. Okay. But Terai, we got one Swift Solution. The Swift Solutions, uh, at this level, man, level 80, I'm lucky if I get, like, I don't think it's even, like, 1% per one. It's, like, maybe a little bit over that. Oh, I gotta kill 30 of the monsters here. These monsters are actually, like, pretty damn stacked in fairness, man. I really like this, um, like, the design of the, uh, Astra. Freaking cool. <laughs> you can see these ones actually don't hurt as much. So this uh, this can be like a little bit of a uh, more best if we want it to be. But I think what I'll probably do to save you watching me kill 30 monsters is we'll like, you know, get a few down here. And then by the magic of video editing, we'll skip ahead. So you guys aren't absolutely bored to tears watching me just nuke this, you know, pack of mobs over and over again. Whilst, you know, the error message can't be skilled yet. Just spams. <laughs> but there we go. So yeah, those ones like damage wise aren't, aren't as bad, but they still do hit quite hard. But anyway, let's skip ahead into the future once I've done this. Alright, so we're finally done and hopefully moving on to the final boss now. Please, Netmarble, Senpai, don't make me kill out of a hundred monsters, because again, I was just cleaving everything down, man. I can't believe like I think it was like three out of seven of the pack actually counted. So yeah, it was um Maybe not 100, maybe that was a bit of an exaggeration, but like 50, 70? And they, they were chunky boys as well, you know? It, it took a while to mow down, but let's uh, let's move on to the next one. Oh, 
Uh, so Black Circle Agents and Legion Soldiers, they're just having a, a bit of fun here. So this is the, the next uh, incredibly fun gauntlet of this one is I've just got to kill 40 of these. <laughs> uh, they they do know how to make you suck. These are, feel like, well, they're not really going down like that much quicker, but a little, a little bit in comparison. At least like with this one and this kind of brawl here, like everyone counts. So there is that... Um, but yeah, uh, we got to kill 40 of these, so we're, we're going to go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, skip ahead a little bit. Alright, so we're done. We've just taken down 40 of them. That one was actually uh, much quicker than the previous one. So we're going to go and talk to the party now. Where are they? Oh, they're just over here. Here's the blue beam of light. Okay. Well, we're just celebrating that that was far too easy. The Dark Lord emerges. Okay, this is the one. That actually unlocks the the mount because I I I remember it from the achievement. Come on, what do we have here? Oh no, it's the king. I kind of want him to, like, Ned Stark this man. <laughs> uh, you know, he's, he's got those things on his back. It just seems like it'd be too easy. A bit of an intimidation factor. I, I guess, you know, this is this is Ghibli, man. A little, a little bit more tame than Game of Thrones. Okay, we've got to fight the, the Mecha Dragon. Wow. Or Mecha Ragon. This man, man looks beastin'. Right, he's behind me. And he is, uh... Uh, a light boss with 2.2 million. I've never seen this man's attacks before, actually. I know he's on the KR version. He's got like a little sweep. Is there like a slightly different version of this guy earlier on in the story? I don't know. Oh gosh, okay, so he's got like quite a winding four hit telegraph there. Right, let's turn on this just to get the assist going on. Is this the one that winds four times? No, that's just the, the standard like tail cleave and this is a wind up in front and swipe and tail thing okay what we got there okay so that's the one that's really annoying that kind of goes four times and then after the fourth one you safely go in I overestimated the distance there a little bit I get away should be fine on this one that's just like oh no that's the that's the rapid stun one <laughs> Look, I'm learning these animations, okay? This this is the one that's just like a one sweep. Okay, nice. This is the the two sweep. There we go. Um, can I tank this? Oh god, that still hit pretty hard in all fairness, man. I'm just trying to like see what I can and can't tank. To, like maximize DPS. Oh, it seems like this one, there is like a certain interval if you maybe like run into the middle like the Yeti. Where you um don't get hit. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. I need to get in sooner, I think. Oh no, I still got stunned by that. So yeah, I was maybe reading the telegraph wrong. Yeah, I'm still getting like <laughs> that certainly did not work. <laughs> um oh goodness. Right, let's get away! Hey, there we go. Look at that. We avoided it. The, the annoying thing about these bosses is that they heal. And the heal from this one's pretty damn chunky. I kind of think for the damage taken, because that isn't like that much. It's 70k. So kind of fine for that one. That's 70k as well. I think technically with my whale gear, we'll probably like survive everything. It's like figuring out like what's actually worth running away from. So everything is about 70k in terms of its damage. Done. Oh god, I swear I was out for that, man. Totally great. The good thing about Engineer, though, is you can, like, play at the uh, the edge of hitboxes. You can still get some massive damage. You should get like, 150k there. Look, I'm, I'm just going to move out of the bad stuff, so people don't call me scrub in the comments. They're probably still going to call me scrub in the comments. It's, it's fair criticism. But look, I'm telling you, when this wall boss comes around, he, he better be coming around soon. I get he's going down way too fast. Than that. We'll be sick of avoiding the attacks. Not that one, the others. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for this one, man. I got a pretty sick darkness weapon. 
Actually, you do need to upgrade the other uh, four star one. Yeah, it looks, it kind of looks like because it's so light in the middle that it would have a uh, space to um, stand and not really take some damage. Alright, let's just dodge that, get out of the way. It's got too much healing on engine here, man. I just know I can be very cheeky and just, if I wanted to, stand and everything. Right, let's go chuck the flamethrower down. Sorted. Get back in. Bombardment. I just love the range I have to play around with as an engineer. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying with some of the auto attacks, but like a lot of the stuff we can kind of just weave in between. There we go. Let's have Leaf Dance doing a bit of work here. That's, that stun was part of the strategy. Okay, nice. Uh, oh no, I thought we had it down, mate, but evidently... Okay, one on that. There we go. It was that heal, like, right at 0.1%. I think we're good, though. Un unless there's a second wave boss. Oh, damn. Shouldn't have done that, Chief. Oh. Nice catch. What was that? Uh, how did you? Uh, 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 oh, uh, he's still alive. Uh oh. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is like the Shadow Dragon boss. That's like 2.5 million CP. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit um, of a noob when it comes to the story of this game. <laughs> so I don't know who this is, but he looks badass. And now he's got a sword. This sword's a bit of trouble. Sword of Discord. Gamers everywhere rejoicing. <laughs> oh, it's a good-looking sword. I'll get rid of you first. No, please spare my life. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh wow. It's turning green now. I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> what's going on with the cinematic here, dude? <laughs> There's some parts that seem a little, a little bit dodgy. Oh, Luxerion, let's go! Gonna Meliodas full counter, full counter. Oh, we just teleport now. I mean, it's it works as well. <laughs> I just wanted to see him like Meliodas stance and full counter that man. You can tell I've, I've done way too much of the story in 7.30 cents. But we're back to the beginning and it resets you back to level 1. <laughs> Imagine if that was actually the end. 
Okay. Feeling better now. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess so, dude. You are... <laughs> Cheers, dude. And uh, there, there we go. We've done it. That is all of the story on Nino Kuni Global so far, and this should mean now that we've got the big boy mount. The thing we've been waiting for, man, the swing, looks really, really cool. I've seen some people, like, running this around on the Korean version. Um, but let's go to the, um, the mount tab here. And then, oh, actually, it's going to be in my mailbox, isn't it? So I can get the amber from my mailbox. And then if I go to my mount tab, then I should be able to find it here. We can also check what upgrade material it requires. Hopefully, it's just the feathers. Okay, yeah, it is just the feathers there, which is really, really good. So let's... Uh, can we also, like, immediately dye it as well? Ooh. Do I have... I'm not too sure I've got, like, the exact kind of color I want. But yeah, being a six-star one, you can immediately dye it, which is really, really cool. I, I, I think, like, I'm a bit of a purple fan. I, I do like the purple one. To be fair, the blue looks pretty cool as well. Um, I definitely, like, want to change it from the, uh... The regular. I might go for like a light blue here, like a sky mount. Seems pretty good. Let's have a look at some of the lighter colors though. They ain't too bad. Yeah, I, th I think light blue. We'll go for that one for now. So let's dye the mount and then we'll mount the appearance there. Um, and then hopefully this is this is working. Oh my goodness. There we go, boys. We're looking like Professor X. <laughs> we actually do look like Professor X. This is incredible. Right. I mean, you know, who who's going to see me flex my mount if I'm just in the starting zone, bro? We want to go to Evermore. We want to ride this around so I can feel, you know, like a special little snowflake here. But uh, there we go, boys. There we go. She legitimately does look like, okay, we've just somehow changed color. <laughs> there are no bugs in this game, man. Only intended features. Uh, but yeah, this, this is all looking pretty cool, man. You know, it's like a giant, giant tire. The the back view, I must admit, from this mount is is kind of like a one out of ten. <laughs> it, it doesn't look great from the back. All I can see is just you know, it just. But you know, for me from the side, the front, um, yeah, looking looking a little bit cooler there. So, but I, I, I don't know about this one from the back, no, necessarily. Um, but, you know, I've got to got to ride this around at least for a few days until I see one other person with this mount and then then i'm done then i'm over it then i'm going back to the yak but for now i'll, I'll kind of ride around in the circular professor x chair uh but ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy today's video uh finishing off the story in nino kitty cross worlds please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated thank you all very much for watching take care and i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day you are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending who decided that subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.